Scott. We are so excited to be here today to share with you a series that we've been creating and working on for over a year now. We are a team of three animators and one web developer. I'm the web developer, Chelsea, and these are the animators, Eric, Ross, and Ian. Our inspiration for this series came from our love of newspaper comics. Newspapers were adapting for a new digital platform, but our favorite illustrated sections were being left behind. Bill Wardison once said, animation is, I think, the fulfillment of the cartoon. There is nothing you cannot do in animation. Calvin and Hobbes was a great inspiration for our series, and this quote just furthered our want to update the newspaper funnies. Eric heard the name Copybot in the classroom example, and he brought it up to the team. We loved the idea of a sentient coffee machine robot, and we started to build a series around it. Being comprised of both animated comics and animated shorts, Copybot explores the future of 3D comics. Copybot is comprised of a lot of different components. Copybot is a character, Copybot is a web presence, Copybot is an animated comic series, and Copybot is an animated series. So, why so many parts? Well, when we first started this project, we knew we wanted to create a series. We liked the idea of creating something that would allow us to grow as artists. And that's exactly what this project has done. All the aspects of this project have allowed us to create something that is both dynamic and constantly improving. So now that we had in place our creative platform, we then had to set our sights on creating the actual content. We had one character already, of course, CoffeeBot. But what's the point of making coffee if you're a robot and you can't drink it? <laughs> to solve that issue, we created a second character, Glenn, CoffeeBot's human counterpart. Now that we had these two characters in our heads, we had to start drawing what they would look like. We went through a lot of iterations of all of, both of the characters. And I mean a lot. The most important lesson we learned at this stage of the project was how to pull the trigger on an idea. If we hadn't, we could easily still be refining these designs today. Here's Glenn Giddings, CoffeeBot's owner. He spends most of his time alone in his apartment, pining to be a more interesting person. But now that he has a robot coffee machine in his life, his days are definitely more interesting. Unlike Glenn, CoffeeBot is a genius when it comes to coffee. He's naive about everything else. He is happily adapting to his new environment, though he has quite a bit to learn about human behavior and social protocol. <laughs> All the action happens here, in Glenn's apartment. Our characters needed a place to live and interact. While we were creating both Glenn and CoffeeBot, we were also building their environment. Glenn's apartment is actually based off a real-life apartment. And we started by making a floor plan and then filling the stage up with uh, models, models to scale. We modeled objects to scale. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. With that, we had the stage for our characters, and we also had the characters themselves. But we still needed the stories. With that, we started writing and recording our scripts in fall 2013. By winter, we actually had enough material to start creating our content and breathing life into CoffeeBot. We officially launched January 12th, and we've been releasing content every Sunday since. We are currently in our sixth production cycle. The production cycles we've developed consist of three comics and one short animation. We spend the first week creating a backlog of comics that we can then release over the upcoming weeks. During those weeks, we create a brand new animated short all the way from script to screen. At the end of every production cycle, we get a chance to analyze how long it took to make everything, and we can trim down unnecessary steps for the next production cycle. After every short, we learn new things, increase our own skills, and improve the overall quality of our content. All of our content is released on our website, coffeebotonline.com. It was important to us to have our episodes on a mobile-friendly website that did not rely on the pinch and zoom method to view our content. CoffeeBotOnline.com is a responsive website that allows our viewers to scroll panel by panel when viewing comics on smaller devices. We also incorporated the personality of the series into the actual site. Users can receive coffee recommendations based off their location or current time zone. Our characters can also interact through Twitter on the site and have conversations. We've built our online presence by doing things like these, creating advertisements, and maintaining social media pages. The great thing about being online is, is that we have a direct link to our audience. To make sure we were on the right path, we user tested our jokes and our website. We had to make a few crucial changes because of this. One, we need to make sure that our comic panels were actually loading in the right order. Two, we had to check that the animated comic panels were not distracting our viewers and ruining the joke for them. And three, we had to create a clear and understandable navigation for our comics. All this knowledge 
Lounge allowed us to enhance the experience for our viewers. Because that's what's most important to us, our viewers. All the work that we've been doing doesn't mean anything if nobody's watching. All the work that we've done and all the <laughs> things that we've learned about animation, storytelling, production pipelines, and presentation are all to get you guys to come back and watch more Coffee Bot. And with over, five, or with over 15 comics and five shorts under our belt, we are poised to continue after graduation. We are even proud to say that we have been contacted by Federator Studios, creators of Adventure Time and Fairly Off Parents, for a one-year YouTube contract as a part of their channel, Federator. Thanks. This is more than Thanks. 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 This is more than a senior project to us, and it always has been. It is truly our passion and a labor of love. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and listening to us. And now please enjoy one of our favorite shorts, Toot.